Natasha from Divine Creations and today I bring to you a Cricut tutorial print and cut everyone loves the print and cut feature and now you can love it stay tuned and I wanted to go over some really neat and fun features that you can use in Cricut design space so today I wanted to go over how to use the print and cut feature so we'll come and we'll get an image. We'll click images. And let's choose this one here. <clears throat> we have a lot of new Star War images. So we're going to go ahead and choose Chewbacca. Now when you notice when this image is brought in, it has one, two, three, four, five, five sorry. it has five layers here. We can see this one, two, three, four, and five. Two of them are turned off. So, you may be asking, well, what do we do with these five images, these five different layers? Let's start by ungroup. I click ungroup. Now, each layer can be taken apart and used separately. I'm going to show you each layer. I'm going to turn on the ones that's turned off so that you can see every single layer that comes with this image. We first opened it, it looks like just one image, but it wasn't. It's multiple images, meaning when you send it to your machine, it was going to require you to have multiple different color papers and it was going to do multiple cuts. Which, if you were putting this on a shirt, that is fine. You will have to do multiple cuts to layer your design if you were creating a shirt or an off-the-mat project. But today, I just want to go over how to use Cricut Images or Google Images as a print and cut feature that can be used with making party favors, invitations, labels for your business, labels for gift bags, anything. If you're using sticker paper, heavy card stock, um, printable fabric, you need a flattened image or a print and cut image. So what we would do is we would put all these layers back together, which this was the original way here. These two images were actually cut off. Cut off mean the eyeball over here on the layers panel was turned off. So I cut them back off again. No need to use them because these images or these layers are good enough to cover all the details. <clears throat> what you would do is, don't worry about if it's not even, it doesn't matter. You will draw out a box, which will select all the layers. You know they are all selected because on your layers panel, they are all gray. We'll go here in our toolbar and we'll hit align, center. So now everything is perfectly centered. And while the, every layer is selected, we're going to hit flatten. Flatten could be found down here. We will choose flatten so that we can create our print and cut image. So I went on, I selected it. 
and now it's flat. When we go to cut, it's only going to cut the outside. It will not cut Chewbacca's beard, face, all this extra hair. It will not cut that. It will only print and then it will cut the outside. This is the time I would resize it depending on your project. You can make it as small as you need it. Measurement here is the largest you can print. Let me bring that back again. 9.25 by 6.75. That's the largest you can print and cut in Cricut Design Space. If you try to go any larger than this, you will get this message, image too large. You will need to size it down to be able to cut and print this design. Now, let's put this to the side. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's look at some other images. Remember, when you delete an image in Canvas, it will not delete in your library here. It will always stay here. It's not going to delete. It doesn't even give you an option to delete. And if you're new to using Cricut, you will notice that some images do say subscribe and some do have a price. That means when you go to print or cut, you will have to pay for this first. I strongly suggest that you buy the subscription so that you can either get 50% off certain images and have more access to their library. It's well worth the investment. So let's look at something else here. How about we look at I Love You to the Moon and Back. We want to select it, insert. So let's open this up a little bigger. We have an image here. When we look at our layers panel, it has some scissors. It has a blue dot. It has an eyeball. The eyeball makes you can see it. Or we'll put the line across, it means you can't see it. The blue color here means you can change the color. But it's a lot more we can do with the print and cut feature. So while we have this open, we're gonna check out the top options. We have cut, write, score, or print. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna focus on the print. So we're gonna select print. Now we have two more options, colors, or patterns. So if you choose colors, that means you can pick a color here, and this is the color your image will print. Or we can pick patterns, and now we can make our pattern <coughs> to something fancy. I have a lot of patterns that I have uploaded. So we'll go to collections, and let's pick baby and here Cricut has gathered some images that they felt was a good fit for a baby baby boy or baby girl maybe for their room maybe something for like their crib or wherever you want to design for your baby or if you have a baby shower and you want to make a gift this is a good place to start so let's just pick an image here let's pick this sesame street one and what will happen, it will now create that pattern into your design. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background of my canvas so that you can see it a little better. So if I turn it black, now you can see it a lot better. I'll go ahead and zoom in. So. You say, well, what can I do with a design that looks like this? Well, you can have some printable HTV. You can print it out and art it onto maybe a baby's bag or a baby shirt. You can print this, use a sticker paper, and use it for any type of project that requires stickers. You can make a card. The options are endless. And this is the good thing that Cricut allows us to choose a background or patterns when we're using the print and cut feature. 
And keep in mind, when this goes to print, it's going to cut everything, every letter. And let's say, okay, well, I don't want that. I don't want each individual letter cut out. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't want that. So that means that means we need to flatten this image onto the back of a shape or another image. So for the sake of tutorial, we'll just pick a circle. And of course our circle is black, so we can't see it. Let's turn it uh, white. How about we turn it purple? Here it is. So what we'll do is we'll match the sizes and the sizes up here, it's 13. Just go ahead and make that 14 inches. Oh, it's on top, we can't see it. So that means we need to send this circle to the back. So we're gonna range, move to the back. And we can go ahead and fit our design in the middle by selecting both, hitting align and center. So now it's perfectly centered, we don't have to worry about it. And what we can do is select both by drawing the box out. And at the bottom of our layers panel, we hit flat. So now what we have created is another print and cut image where when you print it and go to cut it, when you put it on your mat, send it to, you know, send it to the machine, it's going to read the registration marks, which I'm going to show you. I'll show it to you once I make this a little smaller. See, again, if it's too big, you will get that arrow. Here we go. So now we see this is how it will look on your piece of paper. Average paper, eight and a half by 11. You have your registration marks and you see your image. What's going to happen is Cricut will read the registration marks and it will only cut the outside. It will not cut the inside because we flatten it like a pancake. We flatten it down and it's only going to cut the circle and then you'll see your image. And please take note here at the bottom, <coughs> it's going to charge me. It's going to try to charge me a dollar forty nine for that image that we chose. If you're not willing to pay for it, you cannot go on with the design because it's gonna want you to buy it. You don't wanna buy it, you have to hit the cancel and find a different way. Or you can have a subscription and maybe only pay 50% for it, 50% off for it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any further questions, please leave it in the comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next tutorial. See you later.